Hi lovely air signs, welcome to my channel Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is an intuitive reading for the week of July the 12th to the 18th. If it resonates with you, please push like, subscribe and notify. And if it doesn't resonate, go and watch another lovely reader. The, just be aware of um, scammers, they are rife, they're everywhere. Don't take any notice of them, I won't ask you for money. If you want a private reading, just email me at joyenergytarot at gmail.com. They will contact you, so that and I will never do that, okay? So just be aware. So we're going to do the weekly tarot reading, and then we're going to do guidance, um, oracle messages for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius at the end of it. So if you've got a 12 or a 3 in your chart, you are sociable, fun, happy, and quite creative. But sometimes you like being in the limelight, and other times you like being that lovely, supportive person. Then we go through to the 18th. Now, if you've got the 18 or a 9 in your chart, this means that you're kind and generous. You can be quite pedantic and fussy, and it's um, good to focus on the big picture and leave the little minor details. Uh, don't worry about them because they they get you down because of you being a bit fussy. Okay, so let's get on with it. What's going to happen for this coming week, please? Spirits and guides, ancestors. Um, there is no time in the spirit world, so whenever you watch this, this is right for you. So this is for approximately Monday. Okay, so you're starting to see your way forward now. It's like you've been waiting for something to happen, you've been working on things, and now you can finally see where you'd like to be going, whereas before you were still a bit clouded, waiting, not too sure. Let's have a um, clarifier, please, for the Six of Swords. Okay, you've got... Okay, you've got three and a four and a six of swords and a ten of swords. Okay, right. Some of you may have been waiting for a new job or a new position. You've been waiting and waiting. And while you've been, while you've been doing that, you've been worrying. You've been trying to make up your mind what you want to do. Um, unsure of what you want to do. One of these decisions you're going to make is a bit upsetting for you. And um, But it's a three and you do get over that because you progress through to a four. Now a four is where you actually need a rest, you need a healing. For some of you, you may be working in the healing industry, but for the rest of you, you've made this decision or you're making these choices which does your head in. Here you are overthinking everything, uh, worrying about things or things that are choices are going round and round in your head and making you quite restless, you can't sleep properly. When you're like that, write down the, the pros and cons of your choices because I feel that you, after this, you, you go and make your choice and one of them, it involves some sort of separation and then you need a bit of a healing or a, a rest temporarily, okay, and then you see your way forward. Once you've made your mind up. The hardest thing is making a decision. And then once you've made it, you start flying forward. Because right next to it, covering it, is the Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning. Alright, so you've been making up your mind, trying to decide what to do. And you'll overcome your those, those thoughts and that overthinking. And now you can move forward and progress onto something that you're really keen about. Something that you're quite passionate about. So Tuesday, here you are now, yes, feeling a lot better, a lot um, happier, quite more decisive about what you want, you're wise. This card, though, is a card of the person who is emotionally withdrawn. They're a thinker. They live in their head. This can be a teacher, a lawyer, somebody like that who's very logical, and you're either at that stage yourself or there's somebody around you that can help you, that you can go to them for help because they're very knowledgeable. So let's have a clarifier, please. A clarifier. And the clarifier is you're weighing up things for your future here. This is where you're making a choice again. And, and it can be to do with money. What am I going to spend my money on? Spend it on something that makes you happy. And the other side of it is, no, you've got these decisions, these choices, and you're weighing up something that's going to affect your future and your security. All right. So let's have something for approximately Wednesday. And that is... Yes, you have overcome fears. Here you are. Gee, so this week, it's funny because this is air signs and these cards are all basically air sign cards. So here you are. Sevens are overcoming fears. It's all about learning. Um, other, other packs depict this card as being uh, lied to or stolen from. 
I see it as that you've overcome those things in your past. Someone could have ripped you off, people have lied to you, people have stolen from you, treated you like shit or whatever. You've learnt your lessons now because here she is, she's packed her bags and if you see her clearly, she's smiling. She's sailed off to new shores and she's gone ashore with that knowledge. She's taking that knowledge with her, so she's a lot wiser. So some of you could be changing jobs, you could be moving house, but you're mostly all changing the way you look at things and you've got a clear mind, you know what you're doing. You're moving forward, okay? Your thought patterns are moving forward, which is wonderful. You're overcoming fear. Oh, and that brings about joy and happiness. That's such a lovely card in the whole pack. It just means you're going to be feeling a lot happier. Everything around you is ticking along really well now and going along positively. Woohoo! Especially seeing you had all that worrying and or overthinking at the beginning, you know, in the past week or so. And now you have got either a lovely strong woman around you or this is you. This is like now rising up out of the phoenix and actually it, um, uh, the phoenix rising up out of the dust and the ashes, I should say. This is male or female, but this is you at the top of your field now. You're passionate about what you want to do. You know what you want to do and you're feeling there, sitting there feeling really, really happy. Like, see how golden she is? For some of you too, it's somebody around you, like your boss. It's a hard-working woman or man. Um, it's someone that you can get good advice from too. Right, let's have a clarifier, please. Clarifier for the Queen of Wands. I'm getting too that some of you might be starting up something new on your own and it's positive, okay? Yes, and you're waiting for news to come in. Here you are, you're looking back still because you've learnt, you'll be, you, you can see here you're guided from above. Um, when you've, you've been waiting for some advice or, or you might be waiting for something legal or something like that and you're looking back waiting... But now you're seeking the truth. You're you're looking for the truth, and you can cut through the crap, and you know you can see clearly. All right. So always follow your own instincts with that. And again, I think it is to do with knowing what you want. You've planted the seeds. You're waiting for the communication to come in because that card is all about um, texts, emails, yeah, you know, talking, communication coming in. And now you've got the chance to work with other people in conjunction with other people to create something new. And for you, those of you that aren't doing that, this is you taking a look at yourself, working out what you want in life, working out who you really are and being at one with yourself. And I do feel that by getting to that stage is um, because you've now learnt from all those hardships that you've been through and now you're stopping, it's the end of it, that's a 10, those hardships are over and that allows new things to come into your life. So let's see, what have we got for the weekend? Please, the weekend. Yes, being strong, taking control, being the boss. This is a powerful person who's doing things on their own. This is the Aries card, um, doing things my way, doing things um, on your own. Um, it's great for a business owner if you want to have your own business. For some of you, it could be someone strong and powerful around you that you can talk to. And for others of you, you might be dealing with someone in power like a government department of some sort. So what have we got to clarify the emperor, please? We have got, you're going to be meeting new people, okay? And I feel that for some of you, this will be like a soulmate meeting. For others of you, it's someone happy that comes into your life that you feel very, very comfortable with because you've probably been with them in a past life and it's going to happen quite suddenly. So the hanged man was on the bottom of the pack, so we've got to show you that too. And that's about... You've been hanging in there waiting. Some of you have been waiting for your soulmate to come along or waiting for things to happen. Um, but you need to st uh, stop hanging around waiting and look outside the square and look at things differently and then you'll get those results that you want. And you've got the magician as well. So you who've got, you're the magical manifester. You can manifest your dreams now. You've got that ability because you're just as in touch with heaven as on earth. You're a practical, rounded person. You've got your logic and your emotions in balance and your physical all in balance, okay? Have faith. Well, this can keep going. Oh my God, it's all major arcana. Right, we'll read the lot. 
have faith, do things your way. They're giving you, um, from above, they're giving you their blessing, but don't keep doing things the old-fashioned way how you were taught at school. Look outside the square again, do things differently, and keep doing things your way. And work out, what do I really want? Don't get held down by toxic situations. Look at yourself. Don't be deceived by anybody. Don't deceive yourself. This is a card of being chained to something. Might be chained to old views. You might be chained to money. You could be chained to drugs or alcohol or a strong sexual attraction to someone that you can't get away with. So take a look at that. But then everything starts changing and this wheel of fortune always throws out something good. But again, it's a reminder to go within. Take a good look inside. What is it you really want? What are you dreaming of? You are being guided, but you need to stop, sit down, breathe quietly and meditate so that you can be at one with yourself and with the source. Okay, what a fabulous week for you um, air signs. Now, let's see. What are your own personal messages? <clears throat> right, Gemini. Clear and shield your energy, Gemini. Okay, look at him, isn't he lovely? He's telling you, clear and shield your energy. As a sensitive person, you have absorbed some harsh and toxic energy from other people. Well, actually, that's what that deceiver card represents too. You might be receiving, um, absorbing other people's toxic energy. This card asks you to stop and call on Al Moya and Archangel Michael to clear yourself. They can also clear and elevate the energies in other people, your home and in your office. After clearing yourself, ask them to shield you from further intrusions. This process called shielding needs to be conducted once or twice a day. You can also wear a crystal pendant to act as a buffer in harsh energy situations. And additional means are, ask Archangel Michael to cut the cords of fearful attachments between you and other people or possessions. Stay clear of harsh or toxic substances, environments and relationships. Honour your sensitivity. Keep your thoughts as positive as possible to keep your energy clear and clean. Eliminate chatter or use, I mean clutter, or use feng shui to clear the energy in your home or your office. Okay, um, Gemini, and your other messages are journey. Okay, so we're using the Ascended Masters from Doreen Virtue for these oracle cards and Belinda Patton, New Zealander. Journey, your soul is crying out for an exciting adventure. Put some plans in place for your next journey and stop procrastinating. You deserve a holiday, Gemini. Okay, you deserve a holiday. Epiphany, seek clarity. You're going to have an epiphany soon. Something's going to happen quickly. Animal bond, stand up for all animals. Okay, our last um, water sign, somebody had that too. Archangel Gabriel, me, a messenger of creativity and hope. Actually, I think they had that too. So be um, hopeful and be creative with your plans. All right, Libra, what have you got? Take charge of the situation. Take charge of this situation. You'll know what that is. I don't know what it is, but you will. There you go. Take charge of the situation. You have the power to heal and alter the course of this situation. It's time for you to take charge and assume a leadership position. First decide what you want. Be clear about the conditions that are acceptable or unacceptable to you. The universe responds when you're clear about your aims and intentions. The Ascended Masters will support your leadership role. And additional meanings are, talk openly and honestly about your feelings. Make a decision instead of passively waiting. Give yourself permission to do what you feel is right. Don't wait, take action now. Be your own authority figure, Libra. All right. And you've got um, these lovely cards. Time out. <gasps> you need some time away from everyday life. Have a weekend away or go on a retreat to recharge your batteries and make yourself feel whole again. Okay. That's for you, Libra. And legends. Learn from those, those who you look up to. Okay. Peacock, raise your standards. Raise your standards. You deserve the best, remember? Confrontation, pick your battles wisely. Okay, so if you've got to do some discuss, discussing or have a discussion, pick who you want to um, have the discussion with. And Aquarius, you have got trust. 
Trust that everything is going to be fine. Okay, Aquarius? Trust. You can trust the situation you're inquiring about. The solid foundation of your situation gives it a trustworthy basis. Keep purifying your motivations so that they're completely uh, about love and service to elevate the energy and experiences even further. Additional meanings. The person you're inquiring about is trustworthy. Trust that your prayers are being answered, even if you don't yet have the evidence. You're on the right path. Trust your gut instincts and intuition. Aquarius, and you have got, be patient. Spirit is working behind the scenes to make things happen. You don't need to do anything just now, as all will soon unfold, just as it's meant to be. Okay? And your little messages are, resilience, rise above tribulations. Rise above tribulations. Sensuality, ooh, express your sensuality. Good fortune, invite the magic in, Aquarius. And we've got a lovely message from Louise Hay. I express my gratitude. Make gratitude your spiritual practice today. Start with, good morning, bed. Thank you for being so comfortable. I love you. The more you express gratitude, the more you will find to be grateful for. Okay, lovely ear signs. Thank you so much for watching. Push like and subscribe and notify if you want to. And I will see you again. I hope you have a lovely weekend and a lovely week. Blessings to you all. Ka kite anō. See you again.